Getting It Back, The Story of Simande is a new documentary being released by the BFI on Blu-ray on the 26th February. It tells the story of Samande, a band of West Indian musicians based in Brixton, who are only around for a short period from 1971 through to 1974, although they then got back together in the 2010s very successfully. Samande's music is hard to classify. Jazz funk, jazz fusion, Latin rock. You hear a bit of Santana in there, a bit of Sly and the Family Stone, a bit of Herbie Hancock. This new documentary by Tim Mackenzie Smith tells the story of the band's genesis and their chart success in America and then their disappointment as they continue to experience indifference back home. The band would break up all too soon, but their music would be rediscovered by funk DJs and then sampled by hip hop artists. And eventually this interest was inspired to get back together. I'm really grateful to this documentary for introducing me to the music of Samande. If, you, if you've never heard of this band, I really recommend going onto a music streaming site and checking out their first album. In particular, the tracks Bra and Dove. Bra is one of those catchy, life-affirming tracks that really puts a smile on your face. While Dove shows them at their most Santana-like, with a really sinuous guitar line. Both tracks are marked, as all the music is, by really stunning bass lines by Steve Scipio. Given how little known Simande is, it would be nice if the if this documentary had focused more upon the band itself and those early years. If, for example, if they only made three albums, it would be nice if they'd gone through each of them individually and talked about instrumentation, for instance, what kind of bass did Steve Scipio play? Who did who did all that fantastic cover art for the three albums? Did they find it hard to follow up to the success of the first album? And was that a reason for their eventual de demise? Thankfully, the extras on this Blu-ray release go some way to addressing this. There's a very good interview with founder members Steve Scipio and Patrick Patterson. And these guys are both extremely articulate and in their 60s, extremely photogenic too. And they talk really interestingly about their influences and about some of the instrumentation that was involved in creating music. And among the deleted scenes, there's one of Steve Scipio talking about the creation of the bass line at Bra, which would become a staple of dance floors across the the New York disco scene. First pressings of this Blu-ray also come with a booklet, which has some decent articles, including one by Steve Scipio and Patrick Patterson, covering the same sort of topics again. And there's also a really interesting piece about the state of black recording artists in the UK at this period. So when you combine the documentary with those very good uh, special features and the booklet, you have a release which I think is going to be worthwhile for fans of the band and for, and for collectors with a passion for 70s jazz fusion and jazz funk.